welcome back to Real WW Talk. I'm Erin. I'm Candice. And I'm Ricky. Ladies, it's been Happy February. <laughs> Best Happy month of all. <laughs> of course. How can we forget? Ricky is Birthday so ready. Oh, is that why she pretends to be stupid? <laughs> yeah, she's like, what's so exciting about February? February. Ricky, would you like to tell us? <laughs> It's actually the month I was born. What? <laughs> is your birthday also the 1st through the 29th? Because it's a leap year. It is. I get an extra day in my birthday month this year. Go. Look <laughs> at that. Well, happy birthday, Ricky. Thank you. Well, it's, she's got time. <laughs> she's oh, she's claiming the whole month. She's claiming she's the whole, whole month. month. Of the whole month. Yes. Um, so Ricky's birth month, which we're all very grateful for. We've made it through the first month of the year, which is astounding. Yes. Yes. Last week, we set goals in our fundamentals of activity to do a, what it begins with a P. What's it called? Pilates. Pilates. <laughs> I got ready to say Peloton. And I was, I was like, say, Aaron, did you buy a Peloton? <laughs> Hang on. Nope. I did not. I still have my Pella Tom. <laughs> did everybody do? I did my Pilates and mm -hmm. it felt good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine, surprisingly, you know, as you know, I had never done it before. So I got over myself and said, let me go ahead and see what happens. And I was pleasantly surprised that it was not as bad as I thought it would be. No, because you're laying down for most of it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it that hard? No, it should be. I mean, it's core strength. Ricky, like you talked about last time, it's mm -hmm. core strength and core control. But really, you're still laying down on the ground. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's my sweet spot for activity. <laughs> yeah. You know what it got me was, you know, I don't know if you remember or you've heard at the gyms, they've had machines like Pilates machines. I think yeah. that scared me. But the reformers. No. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's not as bad. It's don't, don't, don't be afraid. Come yeah. over to the dark side. And if you have a Peloton, start with a five minute class. You'll be okay. Yeah. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Yeah. Um, I wanted to shout out to a couple of people in the Real WW Talk uh, Facebook group who have just left some nice little things that I thought I would pass along. Karen, um, she was sharing how the Facebook group, Real WW Talk Facebook group, helped save her some money. Mm. She said, after seeing some of the posts here, I just reached out to a WW rep and was able to change my plan to the current $10 a month for 10 months. So thank you all. Look at awesome. that. Money. Not only do you get good nuggets of wisdom, you save some money. <laughs> and then um, Betty shared a picture of the snack that she was eating. She's committed to her goals. And she had a whole wheat English muffin spread Ooh. with a wedge of laughing cow cheese. And then half of a pear was chopped up on mm -hmm. top of it. And that was a three point snack. All right. For her. I love that. I just love being in our group because I come away with, I mean, there's all kinds of things, whether you need accountability from somebody, you need a little snack idea, people posting their meals. Um, somebody else put in it's the first time that they had ever cooked a chicken inside of their Dutch oven. They're like, I just need to show people because it's so beautiful. And I was like, this chicken looked gorgeous. And I hope she saved the carcass. I guess my first like, thought was, look what's under course. that meat. Oh, <laughs> look what's under that meat. <laughs> like look at them bones give it you <laughs> let me have at it i love it uh but we would love to invite you to join over the real ww talk community um because there are a lot of people who will then discuss our the episodes that we're doing including this one so we always want you to feel welcome so join us there uh we're also on instagram and youtube and the podcast connect connect mm -hmm. yes everywhere. So come, come join us. So um, we've been talking about the fundamentals because these are things that if you were seasoned people like Candace and Ricky or small old dogs like me, okay. <laughs> Thank you. she got it right this time. Yeah, got it right. Uh, <laughs> things that we can, you know, just refresh ourselves with. And uh, if you're brand new, then these can just kind of help trigger some thoughts and some fundamentals, the things around this fundamental. So if you go back to what, two episodes ago, we did tracking mm -hmm. last week, we talked about activity. And then I thought this week we would talk about liquids mm -hmm. and I specifically say liquids, 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 uh, because there's so many things that go underneath of that, not just water. I mean, if you think about there's 
Coke and Diet Coke and coffee and tea and smoothies and and uh, alcohol. There's all kinds of stuff. And so maybe we would just kind of coffee. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Coffee. We would do the we would do the umbrella because there's also some liquid controversy as well, especially mm. when we think about smoothies in the WW world. And do you track the points in the smoothies because they say that you should? Uh, so lots of different thoughts and philosophy. So, mm. ding. When you guys think about liquids or drinks, what's what do you think about? Are you thinking about coffee? You think about water? Um, I, well, I'm always thinking about the ones that would cost me points because I'm trying mm -hmm. to find ways to uh, alternatives that I can handle and deal with to still feel satisfied and not deprived. Mm -hmm. Coffee is probably a big one for me because I wasn't really, I didn't start off a big coffee drinker and then I had a kid and then I became a coffee drinker. Um, <laughs> and I realized the statement is true that Coffee itself is zero points, but the thing that I enjoy about coffee is the creamer and the syrups and stuff that it's not zero points. Mm -hmm. So trying to find healthy alternatives or alternatives that, that I can handle has been, it's been a bit daunting um, because yeah, the ones that I really like uh, are not the, the best point wise. And so I choose to count those things. Um, some people I know don't, but I feel like you can really go down a slippery slope with coffee and the things that we add to it. So for me, I have to like measure out the different things that I put to make my coffee the way that I like it. How, what, what does that look like for you? What is a, my new obsession is I really, I know that it's something people have known about, but I like the nut pods. I like the oat version of them with like the, there's one that's a cinnamon swirl. You can get, I've learned you can have five mm -hmm. tablespoons, which may seem like a lot for one point. Um, so for those who don't like a black coffee, I can add, several tablespoons. And then I have, Aaron, you actually gifted me some of the, um, the skinny, what is it? Skinny, skinny, Miss Skinny or something like that. Skinny, skinny Miss something. Syrup. It's like a, it's like a sugar-free syrup. And mm -hmm. I only use like, like a tablespoon or half a tablespoon. And it, it, of course it's not as great as a Starbucks drink. That's a Frappuccino with like the, everything else in it, but it does the trick for me. And now that's my favorite right now. So yeah. one point coffee. Okay. How about you, Ricky? Well, I, I'm also a big coffee fan, but I, I used to love soda and uh, well, let me take that back. I, I loved Diet Coke. Um, mm -hmm. So I was a Diet Coke person. I was never a regular soda person. So I didn't worry about calories necessarily from that. And it was kind of a relief to be like, oh, this is zero calories. But um, as I started to have, you know, acid reflux problems, I had to get rid of the Diet Coke. And, you know, a lot has come out about there's negative things about what's in Diet Coke. But with the resurgence of things like um, poppy and all these like probiotic, prebiotic sodas, I've kind of tried to reintegrate that into my drinks. And I still do have to worry about the carbonation, but it feels like, okay, at least I'm putting something in my body that's um, not completely unnatural, <laughs> you know, like, um, so, so yeah, I've started to like get back into those and it's nice to know that they don't have um, too many points, but I do have to find that balance because I have, I'm a regular coffee drinker of coffee every morning and it does cost me points. So it's like, I'm going to have that. I, I don't always want to have a point pointed drink at the end of the day, even if it's just two or three points, I sometimes have to just make that balance. When I think about like liquid slash hydration, water is usually my, my first. Um, and then coffee. I remember when I first started with WW, I was like, oh, oh my gosh, how much, how many points for, you know, creamer and such. And I was like, no way I I'm not spending points on this. And so I trained my, I actually somehow managed to train my taste buds to enjoy black coffee. Mm -hmm. And so I actually enjoy black coffee now. And I realized for me, when I put, um, creamers, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't do Weight Watchers because I don't enjoy creamers and other things, right? <laughs> uh, that's a problem for me. When I drink them, I find that it makes me more hungry throughout the day okay. and want more delicious things. Um, but I do enjoy them definitely as, as a treat. I tend to drink more tea, unsweetened tea, but I get different flavors. I love... Um, 
Oh, Celestial Seasonings. I like their cinnamon apple. And um, there's another one. Oh, gosh. It's not the one with the buffalo because that's got gluten in it. It's the other one. It's a like a dark roast um, type of taste. So good. Mm. Um, that's kind of where I live. And then, of course, I've spoken about this recently about my um, Coke Zero habits okay. and my... Um, ginger ale zero. Like mm -hmm. I, I have to break those because those, it, it triggers in my brain that when I eat those, when I drink those kinds of things, I need to have certain foods associated with it. And it's like my brain draws this correlation and it will not let up until I get the burger and the fries. That's really mm -hmm. what it is. Like if I, ha I have that drink with burger and fries and if I have it by itself, it's like, where are the burger and fries? You need the burger and fries. Well, I don't have the burger and fries. It could be two days later. Where are the burger and fries? Like it just doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. So I have been on a, um, I've been on a, uh, on a soda, um, fast soda sobriety, what have you. Um, Friday nights though, at my parents, I go to my parents' house for dinner with my brother and my mom has a little tiny can of the ginger ale zero. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. So I'll have, I'll have the tiny can of ginger ale zero, yeah. but otherwise I've been really trying to focus on the water and the tea. How are you guys with drinking water? Do, do you drink it plain or do you need to have it, you know, zhuzhed? With That's other what things. I was just about to ask you. I was going to say, are you a water purist? Because I am a sparkling, like water aholic. Like I like the bubbles. Give me all the bubbles. I actually have this here that has the <laughs> sparkling water mount. Like I've I found it once, and if I don't have it in just a pure form, I like the spindrifts and stuff mm -hmm. that have like mm -hmm. where there's no sugar and no artificial sweeteners either. It's just like an essence of a flavor but it's a sparkling water. That's just mm. my favorite. So what about yeah. you? Are you guys like pure? I just want pure water, nothing in it. Mm. Or do you want the bubbles? I, I love plain water, um, still water. I, I don't mind sparkling water with flavor, not plain sparkling water, but um, that I consider a treat. Like that's not, maybe not a treat, but something I have with a meal. It's not something if I'm thirsty, I just want water. I don't want it to be too cold. I like room temperature water and I drink a lot of it. And that's never thankfully been a problem for me. I, I love plain water. I, I love drinking it. Um, Do you so. feel like you have to add like lemon? You, some people add like a little lemon or lime. No, I prefer just it without. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. give me all the water. <laughs> plain water. Yeah. I'm pretty much a straight water person because the minute I start introducing new things into it, it, it triggers my hunger cravings mm. for some Even reason. Like fruit, because you've heard of the people who put like blackberries or like you know different. Yep, cucumber, I'm, all the stuff that that triggers it for you too. For some reason, any type of food in there makes me want more food. I mm. I I don't know what it is. Um, I do like uh, the sparkling waters on occasion. Those have actually what I've been drinking to help me cut the um, cut the sweet diet soda mm -hmm. stuff. Those mm -hmm. have been kind of bridging the gap to get me now to just, just w water. Mm -hmm. I will say that my, tr I call it like a treat water is lemon juice with peppermint extract, mm -hmm. which is an old Baltimore, we call it the lemon stick where we used to take, mm -hmm. um, you cut a lemon in half and then you would take a, a King's um, peppermint King's peppermint stick, which was like this really airy type of peppermint. And you'd squeeze the lemon and you would suck the lemon juice up through the peppermint stick. And it's, you get a little bit of, you get the hit of the sour. It mixes with the sweet and the peppermint. Oh my gosh. I remember sitting at my grandmother's house on the back porch with my cousins and we'd all be going to town doing that. So lemon. So like squeezing lemon into the water, putting a little bit of peppermint extract to me, that's that's a summer water treat, and I just had some the other day because I was like, I needed to, I needed to make my brain think happy thoughts. <laughs> that actually sounds really good. You actually you mentioned that when the three of us got together for something, you mm -hmm. talked about that. That the, sounds really good. I'll have to yeah. make you guys. I'll make you a peppermint stick. I'll make you a lemon peppermint stick drink. Oh, How about Valentine's. That? That was wonderful. I'm there for it. Look, it always comes back to a little bit of mint, doesn't it? 
I was waiting. She's like, see, this is a little bit of peppermint. <laughs> a little bit of mint. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I think that that's great because every, again, everybody likes their water and does the plan differently when it comes to our beverages and what we can do. And I thought that what you brought up earlier when you were doing the intro and kind of setting this up when we were talking about smoothies, that's another really big topic. And I have been loving my smoothies recently and experimenting with different things to throw into it. Um, as you know, I'm a fan of the vegetables and putting like spinach and kale, um, which sounds horrible, but it really doesn't have a taste um, with like this, the berries and bananas and different things. Are you all true Weight Watcher purists, I guess, who are going to count the points for a smoothie? Because from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, if the fruits and vegetables that are placed into a smoothie are blended, they are no longer zero points. So those things that you're used to being zero all the time suddenly become pointed because of the way that your body digests yes. these fruits or vegetables. Because Do the all... blender has already done the work for you. Right. And it, the way that it goes into you and your bloodstream, it hits faster than if you were to chew it yourself. That's the that's the WW thinking behind it or the science that WWW seen, I should say. But I love what Noel, I remember one of our old leaders, uh, this was a topic that was brought up in a, a new member had heard about it and was like, what do you mean that a smoothie would have points because I only put things that were zero. And she said, for as long as you're losing, I mean, she said, it's not the official Weight Watchers, you know, statement, but for as long as it's working for you, I would say revisit if you want to count, if you're, st if you stop losing, are you all kind of in that camp? Or are you like, no, mm -hmm. I know that what the science says and I'm going to count points for it right now. I mean, I think I would initially track it just because, I mean, if it's something I'm eating, it's taking up space in my stomach. <laughs> it's it's something that I'm not working to chew. And, you know, it, if it's filling and I would have had a meal anyway, I'd be tracking that. So why not? Like my my kind of thing about smoothies is I, I do like them, but it it's very time consuming to make. I think about the cleanup of them and it's a lot to do for something that's pointed. So I, I wonder if anyone can relate to feeling like this is a lot of work to do for something that, you know, yes, it has a lot of nutrients in it, but would I be better off just heating up a packet of broccoli or like something? I don't know. Have you guys ever had that thought? I know it's, Candace, you're like big into smoothies, but it's, it's a lot of work. I see. I don't feel like it's a lot of work to me. You don't? No, okay. I feel like it's pretty like, Plop, 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 plop. Because I just throw it in the dishwasher. Like, and I don't know uh -huh. if that's good or bad. I mean, I, I'm with the, the different things. I hear what you're saying, Ricky, maybe to kind of get the you thing. Do you have your Vitamix in the dishwasher? I have. I probably shouldn't, but I have done that. And I didn't know you could. For the past like 10 <laughs> oh, years, it hasn't done well, that. I mean, that's anymore. pretty impressive. I've I've always known that you're supposed like, you know, you you, the trick with a dish, like a drop of dish soap and water mm -hmm. in it. And it's like, that's gets the stuff out pretty well, but I've never yeah. put mine in the dishwasher. I think that's my biggest deterrent, which is not, it, I mean, it's silly. I know saying it out loud, like it's not that much work, but I think about, oh, chopping this and do it like, and again, if you have frozen fruit, it's not that bad. Well, yeah. you know, another thing that we could think about too, and I, ha I haven't done this except for one recipe and it's, it's called the glowing green smoothie by Kimberly Snyder. <laughs> do you guys remember this? Do you remember this recipe that was like the thing with all the stars years mm -hmm. ago? This is back when I was in my raw food, um, raw food days. It's, actually a very good smoothie recipe, but it's spinach and romaine, an apple, a pear. Um, I forget there's a water, like it doesn't, there's no protein powders. It's basically, instead of drinking a juice, you're doing this as a smoothie. So you're still getting all the fiber in it. It, it fills up that full Vitamix container mm. and then you can drink it over a couple of days. It's good for three days. So you're, yeah. you're doing it in advance. Okay. Um, I've always done one at a time. I've never made my smoothies like far in advance other than this particular, this particular well, thing. Well, cause um, my concern with smoothies a lot of times is all the ingredients I have to buy. I'm, I'm a one so week grocery person. Like, and that's hard with fresh produce. Like sometimes things go bad after a few days, 
So with the ingredients for smoothies, especially like the lettuces and things, I'm like, well, once I open the, the bag up, if it's a bag, or once I start cutting into it, I feel like it goes bad the next day. And then it's like, well, I don't have this ingredient. And I don't know if, if you guys can relate to that, but Erin, yeah. mm -hmm. you were saying you're um, like, I like that idea of making a smoothie that you can keep over a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like you're wasting the, the fresh produce. And yeah. don't forget, I mean, I know we talked about frozen, but seriously, what changed my life is <laughs> David, my husband, was so confused. He's like, why do you keep buying spinach and mm -hmm. all this stuff for your smoothies? He's like, why don't you just get frozen spinach? Because you yeah. can just, I was like, because it's frozen. And I'm. he said, but that would work fine. <laughs> like, smoothies are cold. Like, I mean, unless you're making a warm smoothie, it's not going to hurt it that it's frozen kale. <laughs> And my mind was just like, David. whoa, I, I don't think. Yeah, because I like can portion it out. You can yeah. pour out yeah. half a cup and uh -huh. then put it in there. You're not having to worry about it. Go bad. No, that's a I, good idea. I will. There's uh, Downshiftology is her name. She's got a website, Downshiftology.com. Lisa, Lisa Bryan. I love following her stuff on uh, on YouTube. She's these incredible videos. Um she will make up packets ahead of time mm -hmm. to be able to make for smoothies. So she'll put the banana, she'll put some strawberries, she'll mm -hmm. put the kale, she'll put the spinach. And then all she has to do is add, if she's, if she doesn't use protein powders, but mm -hmm. she will sometimes add nut butters or flax seeds, mm -hmm. all of that will happen, you know, on, on the day of, I will tell you that when I do make smoothies, I will, tr I will track in the tracker. Like I'll write everything out and I will account for any protein powders or if I add a nut butter, anything that would have points, mm -hmm. anything that would traditionally have points, mm -hmm. I will count, but not blended points, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I also like to use cauliflower, frozen cauliflower yep. mm -hmm. and frozen um, uh, frozen zucchini mm -hmm. because they definitely do not add any flavor. Mm -hmm. But when I'm trying to lower the glycemic load, from it, those are things that help bulk it up, don't add taste, and make it make it less sweet. So I'm not. I, it's I. I feel it's so weird. I feel like I'm like one of the only people in the world, and I know that I'm not, who can eat you know a, a smoothie with 25 grams of protein and 30 minutes later want to sit down and eat a full English breakfast. I don't mm -hmm. know what it is. It just makes me so hungry afterwards. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Aaron, I'm very similar to you, how you were talking about with the coffee and you were able to kind of wean out and you don't really need any other stuff. For me, I've been able to do that with smoothies in the fruit portion. Like I've been able to make it where it's real heavy on the veggie mm -hmm. and maybe some chia seeds. And I actually post cancer. One of the things that they're big on Brazil nuts, like anything that I wouldn't normally just, you know, I don't love nuts. So I don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. I'll throw it into the smoothie mm -hmm. and it's it's just a way for me to kind of get a really big nutrient boost. And I've been able to train my palate to not need a lot of banana or not a mango and all of those different things that kind of give it that sweetness. Um, yeah. So I think that that's also been a good thing, but it also brought me, it makes me think about another question. Cause I was at whole foods, which is, I feel like I'm there a lot. And it, why I have no money because we know it's a whole paycheck. Mm -hmm. um, and I really can just go somewhere else. But have you ever fallen for these juices? Because they were, they you know, they have the person who's giving out the samples and mm -hmm. he's like, oh, try this. It's no sugar added, but it's apple, you know, spinach, blah, 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 juiced. And mm -hmm. it's really good for you. I put it in the points tracker just to see. The one, the bottle that he was going to give that was maybe 12 ounces was like 18 points That's because of the sugar. It was just, you know, know, even though there was no added sugar, there's still sugar mm -hmm. um, that's naturally there. Do you all tend to stay away from things like that or do you feel it's worth the points? Those types of natural juices that you see. I personally stay away from them again because um, even though it's fructose. Right which has a different glycemic load than a glucose or a different type of sugar. For me, when it goes inside, it still triggers, I want more food. Mm -hmm. I prefer to mix my fruit juices with my vegetable juices. Mm -hmm. um, so I would, I used to have a juicer. Um, and Ricky, I think we both were kind of doing this at the same time, mm -hmm. juicing, yeah. right? Where I was juicing cucumber and celery. And then I add a little bit of apple to take some of the edge off. Mm -hmm. That 
that was okay for me. But now I prefer to do, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that as a smoothie. Okay. So I've got mm -hmm. the fiber in mm -hmm. with it. I was going to say, what do you do with all the extra pulp? I know. Well, you can make crackers if I you have a dehydrator. You can. <laughs> I think I ended up unfortunately throwing it away when I was juicing, and I know that's a huge waste. But juicing is, I mean, you want to talk about work. <laughs> I mean, because I before I, I did get a very inexpensive juicer this I think this past summer. Um, but before that I was using cheesecloth and I mean it it's a lot of work for a little bit of product. <laughs> and the, you know, what's in it is very nutritious. I was doing celery juice because that helps with, um, you know, some stomach things and, and your digestive system. But um, yeah, it, it, it was a lot of work for a, a little bit of product. And not to say that it's something you shouldn't do, but you just have to keep in mind. I, I'd love to know things that I could have done with the, the pulp and all that stuff because mm -hmm. It is a lot. You don't want to waste that. That's, no. that's good. And, and leave it to all those influencers online who make it look like it's so easy and they, right. it's so beautiful. And they have like this big gallons of this beautiful, vibrant green juice. And you're like, I'm going to buy that. And you're in your kitchen like this exploded. You know, I forgot I needed to peel that. There's <laughs> that in there. I, I had that happen with the cheesecloth. You have to be very gentle. It was like green stuff. Everyone's like, oh, yeah. no. oh, no. Right. Well, you shouldn't need cheesecloth if you're using the juicer well i have and that now but before i had the juicer tip there is a thing that you can get on amazon you can probably find them in your health food stores they're called a nut milk bag it is a mesh bag um so if you need to to squeeze out you know extra juice from pulp or it's really made if you're making your own almond milk your own nut milks um it squeezes the, the, you know, the milk from the, from the nut. So people are like, well, how do you milk a nut? That's how. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw that. I saw somebody, that's a whole nother thing, but I saw somebody make oat milk. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it was so, I was like, well, that's just easy. Like, <laughs> yeah. why don't I just do that? I, I did. haven't done it. I did a couple months ago. I actually made it because I was determined yeah. that I wasn't going to go buy more things because, you know, it's got all kinds of different additives in it. Yep. I will say that oat milk, I think, is a it's a touch better when it's bought in the store mm -hmm. because it needs some enzymes to break down that slime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I, should, I hate saying slime. I know what you mean, though. But, you know, when yeah. you make oats, yeah. right, when you make mm -hmm. oat cereal, it gets that. Yeah. You know, it's that kind of that gluey, that gluey thing. But I will say making it in the summertime as a part of an ice latte, next level. Incredible. Are you guys similar to me though? Because I saw somebody, I think on TikTok or Instagram, somebody who made the oat milk and you save it because you swear you're going to do it, right? Like I have so many things saved. Oh, yeah. Social media. I mean, recipes for drinks and low point coffees yeah. and all this stuff. I have yet. Yeah, I need to just go ahead and just not lying to myself and thinking that I'm going to make it. But that was one that I recently saved was that oatmeal. Yep. Are you guys yeah. like me? Do you all please tell me I'm not alone in having all these saved recipes that you've never made? Oh, I, save, I save things all the time. And I'd say like maybe like 10% of the things I've saved, I do go back and, and do, but like 10%. Okay. I feel less <laughs> alone. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I don't want to end without addressing um, alcohol. With, mm. uh, drinky drinks, drinks with fire. Um, I want to address that because I know we have a lot of people who, who drink alcohol. Um, mm -hmm. and I know that we, we don't, dr we don't drink it as much and Candace definitely not. Now I can't can. drink right. it anymore. But. Right. But let us not forget the time that the, that Ricky and I piled in the car and drove to West Virginia <laughs> <laughs> to the Aldi in West Virginia <laughs> for alcohol. to get the good stuff. <laughs> grocery cart and they asked us they're like you must be from maryland and we're like we yeah. are i still have some of those bottles i'm pretty sure they're expired but we can talk about the waters from what i remember i mean you have a lot of those low point seltzers that people tend to the self the, the hard seltzers mm -hmm. yeah that people tend yeah. to like i don't know what the all the rage is now because i can't drink it and i'm jealous but well, i feel um, like the rage now is is mocktails I mean, yeah. I, and maybe it's just my person, you know, when you get to TikTok or whatever it is, it, it's customized to you. So maybe it's because I've been watching those, but I've seen a lot of people talk about mocktails and I, I like to have a drink every now and then for me, 
it, my favorite things to have are like, I love a mimosa if I'm out of brunch or um, a margarita if I'm at a Mexican restaurant. But for me, like it's maybe once a month, but I have been embracing the mocktails. There's a lot of great brands. I was telling the girls, I, I went to a, rest, a, a grocery store called Sprouts that opened up and it's an organic grocery store. And there were so many options for mocktails. Um, I got a couple margarita ones, again, zero proof, no alcohol. Um, so I think there's a lot of options out there because there's a lot of studies, you know, whether you choose to drink or not about the, you know, effects of regularly drinking. Um, so it's nice to have those options. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like a glass of wine, a glass of red wine, mm -hmm. glass of white wine. I mean, I think those are all pretty points. It seems like they're points friendly to yeah. me. Yeah. Um, unless you're like, you know what? I want to write white Russian. I'm going to do the white Russian. I'm going to spend 20. I would do a mudslide. I'm going to do 30. What's a white Russian? Huh? What's a white Russian? Um, <laughs> it's got, it like, like, I think it's got like whipped egg white. And all I know, it's like a, it's a little bit of a higher point. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know there was one that was like so incredibly good because it almost had an eggnog feel like a rum chata or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, rum chata. I yeah. so miss. Oh, do you remember oh. chocolate wine? Do yeah. You know see, Mrs. Yeah. Yeah. Can you please find me a mocktail for that. I need a <laughs> mocktail chocolate. Now I feel so we did um we did an espresso mocktail. Yeah. Right. That oh, you had I, found Ricky. I found that at Total Wine and oh, it was right. zero, you know, zero proof, so no alcohol. Um, and I think it was pretty, pretty good for that. It had a little bit of a bite to it that felt like, you know, you would feel a cocktail had. Yeah, because um, it had that nitro. It mm -hmm. was the yes, yeah. That's how you know you have good friends, because I'm sure they would have done the other version. But for me, they were like, you poor breast cancer survivor. We're going to bring you over some chocolate mocktails. <laughs> so you don't feel left out. Indige like indigestion and like stomach acid stuff. That, that doesn't, I don't enjoy drinking. And not that I was ever a heavy drinker. It just doesn't feel good. Like, it's nice yeah. to have one every now and then. And it doesn't bother me when I do. But if it started to bother me again, I would give it up in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yep. You know? Every now and then I enjoy a hard cider. And those can anywhere between like five and nine points. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I enjoy sleeping. And they've been <laughs> disrupting my sleep. And I'm like, I... Mm -hmm. Everybody appreciates when I don't, so that I wake up refreshed and well rested and kind to them. But I think to bring it full circle, I think that the same things that we talked about when it comes to coffee probably relate to alcohol too. Because usually the like the, the alcohol itself, like if you just have a shot of vodka or a shot of this, right. it's probably lower point. It's the sugars and stuff mm -hmm. that you add to it to make it not taste like alcohol <laughs> right. that right. you know is really getting you. The same thing with coffee. Mm -hmm. so. I, while you guys are doing that, I'm just looking up right now to see what I'm, I'm looking at vodka. Yeah. Oh, one and a half ounce is, is, um, is four. It's four yeah. points. And and that's and if, point. you with, yeah. if you go with Tito's, Tito's handmade vodka, uh, one shot is three. Yeah. I didn't know vodka had points. I don't know why I thought it didn't. Oh, no, it does. And I laugh because <laughs> that was all day. When, he drank, when we used to drink together, I'd get pina coladas. And he's like, let me just get a shot oh. of something to put hair on. It's the nastiest. I mean, I was like, what is the point? He's like, I don't want all that sugar and stuff in there. He just wanted it hard. I don't know. <laughs> Um, and three points for if you did tequila, like one and a half fluid ounces, which is, which is pretty With much nothing in it. Well, I mean, you're not going to do a shot of tequila. I mean, well, you well, might um, do a shot yeah. of tequila. <laughs> three. That's three points. Um, so I will say we talked about this several episodes ago. Um, but if you wanted a non-alcoholic version, I saw these at home goods. It's a brand called ritual and mm. they have uh tequila, which is what I do. You remember I got that and we try, everybody tried a little bit of it. I see. Yeah, that one was definitely it had had a spicy <laughs> like kick that. on the end. Ricky, that's no, like you brought things. that's something that you brought for me. No, I, you guys came to my house and you oh, had it. I, I was had trying it. to remember because you all left some stuff. I was like, is that the one that you all? No, made? she no. made the margaritas. Okay, I they, they were spicy. Yep, right. and I use the skinny the skinny mix. I I like I I've realized what I like about margaritas is I like salted glasses. <laughs> I like the salt on the rim. <laughs> and I like the lime. I think that's a good, yeah. if you know what you like about the drink, it's easier to say, do I need everything that's in this drink? Or like, yeah. a that's a, I think that's a really good point. And I made, I made for us when we did, was that the breakfast? 
I brewed some of the um, celestial seasoning, yeah. cinnamon apple tea, and yes. diet ginger ale, or something. and diet ginger ale. Mm -hmm. But I coated the 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 rim of the glasses in maple syrup, mm -hmm. and then did coconut sugar and cinnamon, and squish, 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 yeah. squish the glasses in that. And that I think. I think when you do the rim of the glass, mm -hmm. that feels like the mocktail. That's yeah. what really, to me, feels really special. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, honestly, Erin, yeah. that was, and it's something that I, it, it reminds me whenever you do things like that, when we come over, you and Ricky both have a lot of little secret tricks and things, but it feels, like you said, it feels special. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't have thought, like, I could just add, if you wanted to, a little sugar around the rim or salt just to make it feel Mm -hmm. I don't know, festive, you know, because I think that that adds to the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're drinking too, like what you're drinking out of, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like it has to be a really fancy mug or, you know, or not. Yep. All I know is that e no matter what I'm drinking, if I'm just trying to get my water in for the day or making a fancy mocktail, what I'm drinking out of almost matters as much. That's why I'm not coming for anybody's throat who's getting a Stanley mug, you know, because if it's if that's what it takes and you're going to drink more, but, but and that's 40 please, ounces. Can we please not stampede at Target, though? <laughs> I mean, I understand and they're pretty, but if you can't get the red or pink one, like just breathe. Okay. Yeah. It's like I was I was like, they're literally stampeding. Like they're, they're, they're so fighting bonkers. over these mugs. God. This is like 1980 and cabbage patch dolls. Like mm -hmm. Stanley CEO is a genius. He's over here like yes. 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 So Meanwhile, so someone's grandpa got that olive green one. Yes, yeah, like from a camping trip. From a camping trip sitting out in his garage. <laughs> and his granddaughter's like, I'm putting that on eBay. <laughs> love it okay that is it for us this week that is our thoughts on liquids you're welcome <laughs> yeah Enjoy. Oh, almost 40 minutes you're welcome Look okay? at that. we'd love to know your thoughts what are you drinking or if if you can't do straight water what are you putting in your water you put a little vodka in there you could let us know <laughs> we won't tell anyone ricky thought they were zero points anyway that's right <laughs> Water, All right? the time, Ricky's been drinking it in a zero because it's clear. So, <laughs> um, coffee. How are you doing your coffee? Are you turning your coffee into protein coffee by adding, uh, you know, what's that? What's that stuff? There's Don't say cottage life. cheese. <laughs> no, no. no. I was just making sure. You know, they're trying it's to make the protein. protein. The premier oh, protein. A premier lot of protein. Like okay, that. got it. <laughs> we want. So this week we're going to make it about the drinkies. Okay. Let's let's talk drinkage. Let's talk about what you're drinking, mm -hmm. special things that you're drinking, everyday drinking. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be about the drinkage. So it's your and, cup. and cup. Mm -hmm. And cup. Special cup. You know what? Let's do that this week, ladies. Yes. Let's have everybody post um their cup, what they're drinking out of. Your favorite cup. That's a good idea. I love that. Yes, I love it. And okay. Rick is like, if we don't choose a real WWE talk mug, then she's never talking to us again. So, Erin, you already won up on me. We don't even know, know where her mug is that she gave us. I know where it is. I just didn't know we were bringing them out today. Okay. Uh, I've got mine two weeks in a row holding strong here. All right. Come join us in the Real WWE Talk Facebook group. You can find us on Instagram. Maybe make a story and tag us in your story and we'll repost to ours. Uh, YouTube. You can find us on YouTube within WW Connect. And I think that's everything. That's and you all. can be a supporter if you want to. Yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> you know, we have the link. I think it's the link in our Facebook group. You can see at the top of the page or in the About Me. But um, we're so appreciative of our supporters because that's how we continue to give you guys this great content. Yeah. Yep. Thank we'll you. also have it on the, in the show notes um, or if you're watching us or if you're listening to us on the podcast and same thing on YouTube. The YouTube. The All right. YouTube. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.